my dermatologist doesn't like my mole, so we're gonna biopsy it. Let's pause there. I'm a dermatologist, but let's watch the rest of this video as this woman shares her journey with that mole on her cheek and what happens. It unfortunately did not come back in the clear. I have stage zero malignant melanoma. Holy moly. That's crazy. We did it. We did it. He said I did a good job. <laughs> He's so <laughs> dumb. That's crazy. And that's been my journey so far. So that woman who is very kindly sharing her journey with skin cancer had malignant melanoma, which is the most deadly skin cancer we find. To know how to recognize it, I usually teach what's called the ABCDEs of melanoma, which stand for asymmetry, irregular borders, different colors within the lesion, diameter bigger than a pencil eraser, and then evolving over time. If you can't remember ABCDE, just remember ugly duckling, a mole that looks different than the rest. To diagnose melanoma, we do what's called a skin biopsy first. So we either shave the mole off or punch it out with a couple stitches. You look at it under the microscope and then give us a diagnosis. If it is melanoma, then more work is needed. Even though the mole from the biopsy might be completely gone, you have to go back and take larger margins. And those margins are determined by the stage of the melanoma. In this case, she was lucky to have stage zero or melanoma in situ, meaning that melanoma cells are only in the top layer of the skin. For those, we typically take a margin of around five millimeters around the mole. So that's why that tiny little mole turned into a big linear scar. I just want to give you this brief overview of melanoma, how to recognize it, and why like a little tiny mole can turn into such a big surgery like that. So if you're suspicious about a mole you or someone else may have, find a board-certified dermatologist at aad.org.